Hey! Uh, order, 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 order. It is a woo, new season of Lightspeed Quiz. It's 2018. We're in Rochdale at the Robot Courtesy of Simon <laughs> Chilton over there. Hi, Simon. Uh, we've got to. Uh, Hey, we've got to, uh, well, we're meant to have 11 people here, but there's one of our tubs of lard is missing at the moment, and it's uh, meant to be Fraser. So, <laughs> let's hear it for Chris Curtis, <laughs> Dave Bell, <laughs> Mike Children, <laughs> Lee Walbert, the Oracle of Livingston, Colin Walmsley, our new 12 champion, Fraser Lees, <laughs> <laughs> Mark Laycock, Fat Marky, Inventors. Uh, Michael McPartland, uh, Andy Kelly, <laughs> Ashton Davis, Way, <laughs> Dan Roberts, <laughs> and uh, 15 top quizzes that uh, everything about Light Speed Quiz is absolutely brilliant apart from me. So I'm handing this quiz over in its entirety, all 160 questions, eight different genres, to uh, Mr. Mike Lees, our yeah. host today. <laughs> Mike. That's your music, incorporating mm. pop, jazz, classical, radio, musicals. <laughs> right, question one. Vincenzo Galilei, the father, and Michael Agnolo, the brother of Galileo, were the... McP. Pisa. Lose the point. Violin. Lose the point. Uh, were virtuosos on which instrument? Ashton. Hogan. Lee. Nope. Viola. Sam. Violin. Tony. Cello. No. Nope. Dave Bill. Harpsichord. Nope. Matt Markey. Newt. Correct. Uh. <laughs> right. If the singer Jade Jones is the father of both of the yeah. Emma Bunton. Correct. Good, right? Yep. Which 2010 UK number one song sampled a song by Italian singer Renato Carasoni and was sung by Australian band Yolanda Biku? Dave Bell. We speak no Americano. Lose a point. We no speak Americano. Correct. <laughs> right, question four. Which 2011 musical set in Ipswich about the Suffolk Strangler, Stephen Wright, shares its name with a League One football ground currently known as the a -Bank. Ashton, just. No, not League One. Uh, no. Ah, point. McP. It's a walkie park when road then. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in somewhere, but... Tony. 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 It's called London Road. Yes. It is called London. Sorry, it's Peterborough it's Stadium. True. The Avax Stadium. All right, so yeah. Great question, Mike. Question. <laughs> question five. Which American singer, singer's highest UK chart success was his number eight hit with "I Wanna Do It With You"? He did. Tony. Bye, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can't smile about you, Mandy, etc. Right. Question six. Born in 1985 and joining BBC Radio 1 in 2007, which DJ is most famous for hosting the Drive Time Show on... Dave Bill. Sound there. Who's the point? Hi. That market. Who's the point? Ooh. Tony. I was going to say Sam Mills, well, um, Chris Evans. Nope. Born in 19, yeah. That wasn't technology. Sam. Grimshaw. Nope. Have you finished the question? No, no I have not no. quite finished it. Hosting the drive time show on weekdays between 4pm and 7pm. End of question. Ashton. Neman. Nope. Andy. Uh, Nihal. Nope. Fraser. Seymour. Nope. McP. Sarah Fraser. Nope. Simon. That was Bobby Boy, whatever it's called. Curtis. McCarthy. <laughs> nope. Tell them all. Greg James. Yeah. Oh. Greg James. And bear. Here's a sort for the leaderboard for you. So you can see Tony Wong is leading on five, Matt Laker on one, the rest of you nowhere. Right, so you have. Uh, reset. No, reset, sorry. Yeah. Of course, lots of names up there. Question seven. Oh, what is that? The American jazz composer Hank Levy, or Levi, is perhaps best known for which composition? Sharing its name with the 2014 film, 
directed by Damien Chazelle, in which it is featured. Oh, Ashton. Question is finished. Oh, yeah, question is finished. No, no. Dave Bill? City of Stars? Nope. Oh, I see where you're coming from. Tony? Whiplash. Whiplash is correct. Tony is just the man. Great film. Watch it if you can. Alright, question eight. Five clues. This band was founded in 1989 by lead singer Niall Quinn. Pretty That's helpful. Marky. Oh, where's going to go? I was going to say One Direction, I'm totally wrong. It's, it's not, I don't know where One it's Direction? It's not a horn, you dickhead. <laughs> 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 it's going to hurt you. Carry on! <laughs> Other members include guitarist Noel and Mike Hogan and drummer Fergal Lawler. Their debut album, Everybody Else Is Doing It, So Why Can't We? Oh. Dave Bill. Cowboys. Yeah. Oh, good answer. And obviously... Dolores did. Yes, that's what it was Question good. nine. Lyrics. Like a warrior that fights and wins the battle, I know the taste of victory. Are the opening lines to which classic 80s duet? Do you want to sing it, Mike? <laughs> i give it away, won't it? Like a warrior that fights... Oh, oh we've got a guess. Simon. Oh, we guess. Don't give up. Nope. I'll, I'll say it one more time. Like a warrior that fights and wins the battle, I know the taste of victory. It's McP. Something inside so strong. No, nope. Abdi. Alright, it's on you at Love is a Battlefield. No, nope. let's, let's move yeah. on. Oh, Ashton. Is it Save My Love by Renee and Renee? Sam. <laughs> New Year Away. He's got it. Well done. Well, well, done. Well, well, done. Well, well, done. Yes, well done, Sam. Aretha Franklin and George oh, Michael. Oh, oh, what oh, people oh, will be in there for that? That's which shot as soon as the intro comes on that song. I just had my Dream Girls wig on there. That was. Right. Question 10. A reset, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we go. Which capital city was a UK number one hit for? Camille Cabello, featuring young... Oh, Tony! <laughs> Havana. Yeah. Right, to you. Question 11. Which album features the songs Fading Light, Hold On My Heart, Tell Me Why, No Son Of Mine, and Jesus He Knows Me by Genesis? Fat Marky. Will I get to the point? Andy. Uh, I Can't Dance. No. Nope. Tony. Get some Duke. No. Nope. McP. No. Dave Bill. Abercab? No. Nope. Fraser? See the light stands? No. Nope. Lee? No, it's man's gone mama. No. Curtis? Invisible touch? No. Nope. Ashton? We can't dance. Correct. Oh, so I feel bad for you. That's that's the song and you never even went up to the Peter Gabriel yeah. album, sir. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. Ashton gets two points. Right, sir. I'm looking. I'll come out in the film like Joe's covered. What Joe? <laughs> It'll come out right. of the film. Question 12. Which Scottish band take their name from Harry Dean Stanton's character in Paris, Tetris? Tony. Travis. Yeah. Big for all of you if you don't mind me saying that. Yeah, I oh. thought that was reasonably easy. Right. 13. Five clues. This musical comedy trio includes Akiva Schaefer and Jorma Tacconi. They formed in Berkeley, California in 2000. They have collaborated with Justin Timberlake. Songs include I'm on a Boat and Jack Sparrow. Oh, Fraser. Lonely Island. Yes. Oh, what, what do those two listen to at home together? I don't know. And which act is Golden Globe oh, oh, oh. winner Andy Samberg, the most prominent member? Fraser, <laughs> if I shuffle the leaderboard, Fraser is in joint second place. Go on, son. Move on. Reset. Question 14. Written in 1930, Symphony Fantastique is a famous work by. It's Tony Just. Tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any type of music you don't try to catch me on? Rap. Rap. Where's the rap? Right. Off we go. Where is the rap? Right, here we go. Whose first solo single had the catalogue reference Virgin Boy 100? Shannon. My Goldfield. No. Dave Bill. Elm Joe. No. Tony. Or George. Yeah. He's like Virgin. Even you even give him those ones. Why? 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 I'm, I'm, I'm trying to catch him out, but. Right, 16. Which classic band's original lineup was Hugh Grundy on drums, Chris White on bass, Paul Atkinson on guitar, Colin Blundstone on. It's the zombies. There will be a couple that are going to catch him out, I'm sure. Right, 17. Which Andrew Lloyd Webber musical with lyrics by Don Black is a one woman. Curtis? Sammy on a Sunday. Yeah, well, well. Good. I want to see got it. For all Tony's uh, magnificence, I think that's oh. the best answer of the day. I was about to go for it, but Chris was just too quick. That was one for Andy Kelly. 
I was just about to, it's only a moment. Right, here. Uh, 18. Originally written in 1837, Chopin's Piano Sonata No. 2 in B-flat minor has been played for Leonid Brezhnev, JFK, and Chopin himself in 1849. How is it better known? <laughs> Simon, you know what? Yeah. We've had that a few months ago, if I remember oh, rightly. Really? Yes, it will. Oh, All grist to the mill. This is, this is going to be a good one. I don't know who's going to get what, this. Put on. There's going to be a lot oh, of people. To, can I give the scores after 18? Uh, just so you know where you are. We, don't need, uh, we need to do a little reshuffle to promote Simon there. Tony's on 15. You're all fighting for the silver medal on two points each. Ashton and Sam, you could easily get some medal. Ask Chris Curtis. Mark Laycock, Lee Robert, you can get some medal. Uh, Andy Kelly and Michael McPowell, well, Michael McPowell, the people who aren't here are beating you at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Two more questions. 19. Right. Five clues. I'm looking for a band that formed in 1968 in Willowdale. They are loved by Paul Rudd and Jason Segal in the film I Love You Man. They share their name with a 2013 film. Jeff Jones is the original bassist. Which Toronto based band are known for their songs Tom Sawyer? Fat Marky. Rush. Yeah, I'll well done. Not, uh, not gone. Finish yeah. the question while I'm doing this. And Spirits of Radio. Spirit radio. I thought people were going to go in earlier. And they were disbanded. Three 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 and Shane for not putting bubbles from Tail Park Boys, who's a huge fan. Yeah. It's a Teddy Lee. Yeah, well, no, here we go. Question 20. In music. Oh, oh sorry. Go on. Oh, thank you. In music, this means a relationship between voices that are harmonically interdependent and independent in rhythm and contour. Which radio show was originally hosted by Ned Sheeran? Ashton! Yeah. That's a useful little silver medal you described as the general knowledge music quiz. Yes. I'm glad that Tony didn't get more than more than ten. Uh, we're moving right along, I think, to the next uh, yeah, just scroll down and we're moving on to Art, which uh, is who's the, who's the art specialist here today, Matt? Would you say who's going to win this? I don't know. Maybe Simon. He might what? have some knowledge. Uh, uh, we'll I think Lake. I'm tipping Lake up for art. We'll see. We'll He's see. A, You're tipping me for art. He's been to Bruges. <laughs> <laughs> did he see, did he talk, see the wall? He's put his, put his, put his thumbs up for his wall. Here we go. <laughs> Round two. Arts incorporating uh, incorporating art <laughs> architecture. Food, language, and literature. And before we start, I'll be looking for sponsors mm. this year, and I've been Sorry. telling people not. not to put product placement in front of the cameras. But in a Sam Smith pub, hi Sam Smith at Tadcaster, if you'd like to be associated with the very finest open quiz in the country, which is on film, it will last forever. We're all here drinking Sam Smith. Let's have a toast to Sam Smith. Come, Come and sponsor us. Yeah, what arm could it do? We love you, pubs. We promise we won't swear. <laughs> Off we go. Question one. In which district of London is the Tabard Inn from the Canterbury? It's Lee. Woolwich. No, lose a point. I oh, dear quite me, Lee. Sorry about that. Tony. Southwark. Southwark. Yep. Oh, yeah. He continued where he left off. All right, T.O. In the Bible, Dina is the daughter of Leah and which patriarch of the... Tony. Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Question three. Early Laxton... Blazed and red and Nubiana are varieties of which fruit? Lee. Apple. Nope. Have you finished? I finished, yeah, I finished. Okay, Tony. Hey. Nope. Andy. Plum. Yep. Oh, get in there. How's that off? Food. Remember the food's in there. Remember the food's in there. Um uh, come on. Question four. William Ray, 2007 to 2009. Gareth Watchman, 1994 to 1996. Anthony Eden, 1988 to 1991. Robbie Humphreys, 1983 to 86. Sam. Father of that. No. It's, it's not history, is it? Okay. I don't know. Right, right here. Um, Robbie Humphreys, 83 to 86. And Terry Brooks, 1961 to 66. Tony. Milky Bar Kid. Yeah. How about that? That's all I thought that was with Anthony Eden, I thought that might throw people off here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, they, were, they were on the big fat quiz of the year, weren't they? So I thought Come on. throw it in. Right, let's go. Question five. Definitely. Is that hard? I forget that. That's food. Is it food? Look at this. 
All right. Dennis Huang. It's probably a tough that question. I'll say it again. Dennis Huang, an American born South Korean, is a graphic artist who was employed to be a doodler for which company in 2000? Flat Market. Yep. Oh! The Googler Doodler. There's been a few of them, but he was the. Uh... <sighs> question six. Whose is the most famous depiction of Robert Andrews and Francis Carter? <laughs> Tony. Oh shit. Uh, Turner. No, with a point. Yeah, wrong, wrong one. Is Andrews? Shh. Uh, Ashton. Kane. Yep. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Andrews. Andrews yeah. Ashton. Is it Turner? Do you say Gainsborough so people can hear it when they're watching the films? Gainsborough. Yeah. That's the spirit yeah. thing. Sorry, when the ham? <laughs> Question seven. Rodion Raskolnikov is the central character. <laughs> oh no. Crown punishment. Carry on. Question eight. Five clues. I'm looking for an English poet. He presents Poetry Please on Radio 4. He was influenced by beat poetry. This Ashton. Simon Armitage. Lose a point. Uh, Tony. Roger McGough. That's what I meant. <laughs> One of the Liverpool poets, yeah. yeah. Right, question nine. Unveiled in the early 1900s, St Helens is home to a statue of Queen Victoria by Sir George Frampton. Which other northwest coastal... Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> um, Blackpool, Abdul. No, there's a point. Uh, Not finished the question. I'll do one Frampton, so the famous one. Shh. <laughs> Tony, finish the question off. <laughs> Which other northwest coastal town has another? Here we go with our run of northwest coastal towns. Flat uh, Fraser. Markham. No, nope, those. Flat Market. Southport. Yeah. No. Oh, that's got it out of the way. Well, no, the other was it? Yeah. He did Peter Pan. That's what you have to. Yeah. David Hess. Dave Hess country. Question ten. Are we ready? Yeah. Which three words are connected by a 1950s Terence Rattigan play and a 1999 film starring LL Cool J? That market. Deep Blue Sea. Oh! That's, that's, that's in the four words or the Deep Blue Sea? Yeah, no, the three words. The oh, film is, right. the, is Deep Blue Sea. Right. The play is that's The fine. Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, oh, obviously, obviously I've got that because of the Terence Rattigan. Record. Good yeah. question. <laughs> right, I yeah. like the question. Question 11. Which architect designed the National Assembly Building in Kuwait, the Bagsvard Church near Copenhagen, and the Kingo Houses in Helsingor, where he died aged 90 in 2008? Curtis. John Hudson? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Finish the question. His most famous design was declared a World Heritage Site on 28th of June 2007. Right, yeah. Question 12. What surname links the adapter of the Uncle Remus stories and the creator... Tony. House. The creator of the character Suki Stackhouse. Joel Chandler Harris and Charlene Harris. I wanted to put Fenister Rovers Hooker in 1967, but he wouldn't have it. <laughs> Who's that? This will, this will be a bit of a guess of this. We'll see. In popular culture, they can be seen in the TV show Teen Wolf, and in Japanese folklore, they are known for their magical abilities and love of fried tofu. Kitsune is the Japanese word. McP. Rabbits. Lose a point. Carry on. Kitsune is the Japanese word for which animal? Tony. That's monkey. Nope. Fat Maki. Well. Lee. Cat. <laughs> Curtis. Muskrat. Andy. Dog. Aston. Squirrel. Dave Bill. <laughs> Snake. Simon. Hedgehog. Sam. Cat. Fraser. Hare. Tell him. It's a fox. I didn't think anyone was going to fox does end, didn't it? Yeah, it is. Sorry. You're close to the See one. See what you did there? Yeah, bad joke, <laughs> territory. I've got a game before no, Chris. <laughs> right, it's you. Is that the first of Charlie as well? That's what I think it's still, yeah. I didn't have four people down there. Right, okay. Question 14. Taken at the intersection of Santa Monica Boulevard, North Dehenny Drive and Melrose Avenue through the windshield of a car. The 1961 photograph, the double standard, was taken by which American actor, 1936 to 2010? Tony. Marlon Brando. Andy. No. 
No. Simon. That was going to brand. Dave nice. Bill. Paul Newman. Curtis. Rock Hudson. Good question. Tell us. Dennis Hopper. Oh, oh right, right. Yeah, he's the oh. top as well. Yeah. Two to Charlie. You wait for one to come along. Two point ones, yeah. Question 15. When Edgar Degas travelled from Europe to America, he produced a painting that was the first to be sold to a museum by an Impressionist. Which southern United States city finishes off the title of it? A cotton office in... Curtis. Alabama. No. Card. Andy. Atlanta. No. McPhee. Los Angeles. Simon. Birmingham. Ashton. Uh, Jacksonville. No. Dave Bill. New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. Cotton office in New Orleans. Uh, Alabama was a bad guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Down for that one. Question 16. <laughs> the Kajiki or Furuko Tomu. I'm going to have to say it again, right? <laughs> it's so hard to say. Furu Kotofumi was translated to English in 1882 and explains the customs and practices of which religion? Andy! Shinto. Yeah. <clears throat> Good spelling. <clears throat> Off we go. Question 17. Popular between the late 19th and early 20th centuries, which art movement is known as Jungenstil in German? That market. No. Nope. Tell me the question hasn't finished. Yeah, it's finished. Curtis. <laughs> <it's finished. laughs> <laughs> Ashton. Uh, Art Deco. Andy. No, I was Arts Across. Simon. Pointillism. No. Nope. Lee. Art Nouveau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never began with that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, Lee? Well done, mate. Uh, to 18, when we sort the leaderboard out, we can see that Tony's on top with 13. Not as magnificent a leader as uh, in the last round, but Matt Laycock, 6. Yeah, I was tipping you. Andy Kelly, 4. Welcome aboard. Chris Curtis, Dave Bill on 2. Ashton and Lee, well, yeah, yeah. Simon Kirk, Fraser, uh, Curtis, Lee, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Again, uh, Debs, who isn't here, is on 0. And uh, McPartland and Sam, you need to... I'm in good company. Go for this. Reset is on. And right. Two questions. Listen to the question because it's very important. Okay. I want someone to, want to get it. Advice, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Great advice, you quiz, mate. Yeah. Written in 2000 and receiving the 2001 Whitbread Book of the Year, which children's book, part of a trilogy, was the first to be long listed for them? Ashton. Yeah, I'm a spy guys. Oh! There we go. Boom! I did not expect people to get that, but that was good. Did you, say, did you mention second? Did he, did he actually nail that from a. Or did he guess it? I think, he, I think he just knew it. I knew it was the long list, I knew it was the last one. Right, so your question 19. Had we but the world enough and time are the opening words to His Coy Mistress by which... Seven... Ashton! Bloody hell. People know the stuff, don't they? I'll tell you what, Marvel's good nowadays. Yeah. DC are better. It's better than uh, <laughs> on the leaderboard, have we finished that now? No, no, we're the last one. Last okay, one. then. Right, the Museo Sumea designed by Fernando Romero and one of the most visited art galleries in the world is in which country or capital? McPhee. Finland. No. Are we going to minus him for that? Yeah, I think With so. One word to go. Andy. Sweden. No. Andy's the last one there as well. Uh, we're still, we've not finished yet. We've not oh, finished yet. No. Oh, no. no. That's no. Press no. Tony. Press oh. Tony, stay with the programme. Oh, Argentina. No. Pack. Uh, Dave Bill. Helsinki. No. <laughs> Is that country or uh, Fraser. Spain. No. <laughs> right. Do you want to finish the question, please? Man. City. <laughs> or capital city. Yeah. Uh, Ashton. Mexico City. Yeah. How, how so look at Argentina and Spain, no, so look so at it. I would never impress them. Where did you get Finland from? Sumia. Oh no, I said Sumia. Oh, oh you. It's, you it's, you know, it's, it's not what I heard that. Sumia, it says to only. Allow me to uh, read the scores out and give people a little round of applause. In reverse order, quite clear. Mike Laycock with a bronze medal on that particular section. Ashton Davies on seven. And Tony, you were on 13, you're down to 12 and the winner. Yay!
The next two rounds will be history and sport, I believe. So uh, that'll be next week if you're watching on television or YouTube or whatever you want to watch this on. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.